Hello guys, in this video continue making this blue thing right here. So this is a rather complex object guys, so keep in mind this video series is just kind of a, a guide. Um, for example, there's just a, a lot of complex details here that you can spend more time getting the correct proportions. There are a lot of things here that I recommend doing either with texture maps, displacement, or with ZBrush. For example, all of this, you know, you can't really model this with polygons. So you probably want to go in here and either create like a a displacement texture or go into ZBrush and create these details here. All right, so how do we create these kinds of details? Well, so I kind of got this right here. So first of all, let's start with a cylinder and let's give ourselves something like 16 or maybe 32 or 24. So let's go with 32 to be safe. And let's activate angle snap and rotate that by nine degrees. All right, so essentially I'm gonna put that here and I'm going to increase the radius and decrease the height. Once again, guys, I'm not being super accurate here with the proportions. I'm just showing you kind of the workflow of how to get something like this, all right? All right, something like that. All right, so then we can just uh, Make sure it's at zero. All right. So now I've kind of got this piece right here. So I'm going to, well, let's see. Perhaps let's just start with uh, with 16, for example, or maybe even eight. And let's activate some cap segments as well. And then let's select this. First of all, I'll just go in here real quick and just remove these edges. And I'll select that. And I will extrude this. All right, so kind of up to here. So once again, it's not visible here. So we will have to kind of, uh, you know, it's it's a very it's a very complex piece, and I'm not sure what's what's really happening here. So it's kind of like like, like that. I guess we'll have to remove that later on. All right, so we've got this. And I'm going to rely on creases for now. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and crease that. I'm going to apply open subdiv. All right. So now I kind of want to recreate this shape right here. So we'll insert a loop here. And we will just kind of scale that. Kind of move that up here. So you can see how it's more straight over here and it's kind of going up right there. So we can perhaps double click on this and crease this as well. To get a curve here. And so now it's going down here a little bit here. So we can perhaps like this, kind of move it down a little bit. So as you can see, we're just kind of getting this general shape. All right, what I would do here is set up the different pivots, Alt A to make it here. Then I'm going to Control V that, and I'm going to mirror that. And now what I would do is kind of go in here and move all these vertices down to get kind of this result.
All right, guys, so now that I've kind of blended it together and kind of fixed it to the polish a little bit, we've got this result. So now how do we get these holes right here? Well, what we can do, because we maintain good topology, guys, we can, for example, select four faces here, four faces here, then we can inset, regularize, and then we can essentially just bridge right here. So we can do all of these at once. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and select this. All right, and I'm going to inset, regularize, and we're going to bridge. There we go, guys. Now we have four holes right here. As for the central piece, we're just going to select that. We're going to go ahead and grow, regularize, and then we're going to go ahead and get this result here. And then I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's going inside here, so kind of uh, get inside here. Right, and so for the other side, I will detach this as a clone, and then I will select this and delete that. I'll select this cloned object and I will rotate it. I move it here, kind of snap it right there. Then I will attach here and weld with 0 0.01. All right, so you can try and get a few of these details with simple polygon modeling. You know, for example, this right here, you know, you can kind of select these edges and it looks, it looks like it kind of ends uh, right here, kind of deselect a bunch of this. All right, then you can finally lose a little bit of extrude and now I'll increase the extrusion base width and the extrusion height. We're gonna get this little piece right here. We can turbo smooth that as you can see We've got that kind of little detail here and we can select this and move this a little bit and get kind of a similar detail. Well, it probably would be better just to go ahead and use a ZBrush for this, but if you want to, you can get something similar with polygons as well. All right, thank you for watching and take care.